of this debt. In this auspicious occasion, dignitaries on the dais are Honorable Sri Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy, Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri G. Krishna Reddy, Union Minister, Sri Somubira Raju, BJP State President, Sri Vijay Sai Reddy, YSRCP Leader Parliament, all the ministers, speakers of the Andhra Pradesh, MPs, MLAs, MLCs of the Dais. Brothers and sisters, I pay my sincere homage to the great poets of Andhra Pradesh who have enriched the Telugu language Nanaya, Tikkana, Somnata, Era Pragada, Srinata, Bodna, Onomacharya, and Tenali Ramakrishna. I also pay homage to Aluri Sitarama Raju, Walada Norasina Raju, N.T. Ramarao, and other great fighters and leaders of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh has a long, glorious history. In ancient time, this part of the country was ruled by Sat, Bahanaj, Pallavaj, Easter Chalukaj, Chalaj, and Kakotiyaj. Vijayanagar was also a famous empire known for maritime trade, which lead a, led a base for modern day international relations. This famous state is blessed with rich language, literature, and culture. Telugu being a classical language and Kuchipudi a classical dance. Andhra Pradesh is also famous for religious centers like Tirupati, Lepakhi, etc. Andhra is also known widely for its tasteful cushions like Putare, Pulu, and Kaja, Uppada, and Kolamkari, Sarij, Sado, Pupetri. Durgi stone carving and Etikopakka toys. This state has a, lo has a long history of freedom struggles, revolt in Railosima, no tax campaign in Kerala and Perala, and Rampa revolt led by Aluri Sitara Maharaj are historically important revolts. Besides, the people of this state have played an important role in Simon Gobek campaign, civil disobedience movement, Salt Satyagraha, and Quit India movement. Andhra Pradesh has a glorious past with a promising present. Agriculture is the main, mainstay of the people of Andhra Pradesh. The peasants of Andhra Pradesh are known for their industry and hard work. They have set an example for the pigeons of the country. Rice and fisheries of Andhra Pradesh have high demands in other states of India. Many excellent creations of nature like Arakubhalli, Tirupati Hills, Boro Caves, etc., and historical monuments like temples, forts, and palaces have always been sources of attraction for tourists, pilgrims, and the scholars as well. As you all know, India has ushered in a new era under the leadership of our revered Prime Minister India has added novel captures in every field of development. The attitude and outlook of the world about India has also undergone a sea change. The youth of our country have developed confidence on themselves. Dear friends, all of you are aware that this year is very important in the history of modern India. We are celebrating 75th year of our independence, which is 
popularly coined as Ajadi Ka Amrut Mahasav. On this auspicious occasion, our visionary Prime Minister has prepared a road map for development of India for coming 25 years and has sought for, a, for active and positive cooperation of all. Let us join together and be a part of the journey to make India the most prosperous country of the world. My dear brothers and sisters, I am a tribal leader from a remote village of Moirvanj district in Odisha. Odisha and Andhra Pradesh are neighboring states and have many similarities in food habits, dress and customs. I belong to Santal community, one of the major tribes of India. My candidature for the post of the President of India is the manifestation of social justice and women empowerment. As you all know, the election for the post of President of India is going to be held on 18th of this month. I request you all to bless and support your sister to see 